My name is Brandon Smith, and this is Gender Disparities in Job Satisfaction in Academic Plastic Surgery. Now we know the importance of senior academic faculty, as well as residents, in shaping young medical students and guiding them towards different fields of practice. We know this is particularly important for women in the field of medicine, who play an important role in shaping similarly gendered students towards different fields of practice. In the field of plastic surgery, there are historic disparities in the number of female providers, as well as the number of female academics and female residents. We know that this plays an important role in some of the disparities in the interests that women have in pursuing plastic surgery as a field of training. The goal of the study was to understand if differences in job satisfaction between male and female academics plays a role in some of the disparities that currently exist in the field. To do this, we first identified all of the plastic surgery uh, academic programs here in the US. We reached out to the residency directors of each of those programs and emailed them a 15 question survey to be redistributed to their academic faculty and residents. From this survey, we received 380 unique responses representing approximately a 24% response rate. Overall, the respondents were one-third female and two-thirds male. The female respondents were overall younger than their male colleagues, more likely to be residents, more likely to have had integrated residency training, less likely to be in senior academic positions, and less likely to be in leadership positions. Looking at the survey itself, we had five main categories, one being overall job satisfaction, and four looking at specific aspects of the work, including coworker satisfaction, task satisfaction, environment satisfaction, and resource satisfaction. We measured uh, individuals' responses to each of these categories on a Likert scale uh, from one to seven, with one being delighted and seven being terrible. We compared the scores between male and female respondents using a t-test. Overall, we found that women, when compared to their male colleagues, were significantly more dissatisfied with their work environment and work resources. When we wanted to go further, we looked specifically at different groups of women and saw where they experienced specific disparities in their job satisfaction. We saw that women in long-term relationships were more dissatisfied with their overall work, with their work environment, and with their work resources. We saw other specific groups, uh, women who had completed a integrated residency were more dissatisfied with their overall work and their work resources. Uh, women working in the Western United States were more dissatisfied with their work, their work environment, uh, and other groups, including attending physicians and assistant professors, were dissatisfied with their work environment, uh, as well as for attendings, their work resources. We wanted to go further and understand if there was an age effect between younger uh, female residents and older female attendings and older male residents and older male attendings if their uh, age had any impact on some of these different satisfaction scores. And what we found is that uh, older women in the field were more dissatisfied with their work environment and more dissatisfied with their work resources when compared to their male colleagues. So overall, we can conclude that there are significant differences in job satisfaction between male and female plastic surgeons, and that these differences extend to specific aspects of the workplace that can be addressed. Overall, understanding where these satisfaction disparities occur and who they most specifically affect is an important first step towards improving some of these disparities and doing that towards the goal of improving representation in the field and encouraging more student mentorship. Overall, encouraging uh, a decrease in the disparities between men and women in the field of plastic surgery. I'd like to thank you for your time.